testimony hub inspired wherever you are quickly open your bibles to the book of revelation chapter 5 revelation chapter 5 hallelujah revelation chapter 5 it's been a long time coming there's been so much word spoken over your life there's been so much prophecy i didn't this 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 weeks are not for your neighbor but it's for someone who said i've heard so much I've, I've believed so much. I need to be. I need to be birthed into my manifestation. Hear me for the manifestation to take place. Some people are going to be birthing things, and they will be birthed into things. I'm not sure you heard me right now. Some people are going to be birthing things, and some others are going to be birthed into things. As your amen will thunder, it's already been concluded. But would you let me say tonight is the unveiling? It's already been done but tonight is the unveiling it's already been sealed in the heaven but tonight is the unveiling a conversation has already been held somewhere about you but tonight is the unveiling a helper has already been sent but they are delaying tonight is the unveiling i announce let it be unveiled by fire the louder your amen, the bigger your answer. The louder your amen, the bigger the answer. The louder your amen, the bigger the turnaround. Let your amen scatter the gates of hell. Let your amen rise higher. We read the book of Revelation, chapter 5, and we read from verse 1 to 11. I will try in the beginning of this series. Listen, people of God, when we begin to speak about manifestation, it's not about speaking English. People of God, is either you are manifesting or you are not. Am I communicating? So I came, I want you to realize that's why all throughout the Thursdays, please don't get this information, all throughout the Thursdays in this series, until we say stop, we're going to be fasting and praying from the hours of 6 to 2. And every Thursday when you show up here, you are going to come with your oil and you're going to come with your communion because people of God, we are not using normal eye in this series season because your neighbor might be because nothing is chasing them or they are not chasing anything but if you are like me you know that there's something you're chasing there's a woman you've got to become before july even ends as you obey these instructions may the angels move you into your manifestation that amen cannot even heal a headache let your amen turn the louder Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, can we do this together? Say, neighbor, I need your energy uh, to enter my manifestation. Uh, say to your neighbor, neighbor, I need your atmosphere. Tell your neighbor, do you know why? Uh, one will chase a thousand, uh, two will chase tens of thousands. Uh, tell your neighbor, neighbor, uh, if you know what I know, uh, if you agree with me, uh, we will do better. Now with the amen of your neighbor, can you turn that louder, amen? So we read the book of Revelation chapter 5 from verse 1 to 11. Oh my goodness, God, we love you, Jesus. We love you. Oh my goodness, this is what the apostles saw. And they said to Jesus, where else shall we go to? For only you have the words of eternal life. Your words are not temporal. They are not influenced by our environment. They are not influenced by the vicissitudes of life. They are not influenced by our emotions or by what men feel about us. They are not influenced. Oh my goodness, Shabbat and that is why I bring a word to someone the word of God will not cease to be the word of God because something is not working in your environment and that is why no matter what happens out there we know that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the arm how can you be saying this every day and they will come near you how can you be declaring this every day is it that the word of God is not true Lift up your right hand, let's sing together. Say, I am dwelling 
you got to raise your voice and turn and say, I am dwelling uh, in the secret place uh, of the Most High. Uh, yeah, ta -ta. Say, I am abiding uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, now scream this, say, I am saying uh, of the Lord. Uh, he is my refuge uh, and my fortress. Uh, somebody say, my God. Uh, shout it, my God. Uh, in him uh, will I trust. Uh, Look at your neighbor and thunder, Amen. Revelation chapter 5, and we we'll read from verse 1 to verse 11. Can we read together, church? One, two, go. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book? And to lose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven. Nor in earth. Neither under the earth. Was able to open the book. Neither to look thereon. And I wept much. Because no man was found worthy. To open and read the book. Neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me. Weep not. Behold the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof and i beheld and lo in the midst of the throne and the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood the lamb as it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of god sent forth into all the earth and it came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them halves and golden vials full of orders, which are the prayers of the saints. And the song, a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Somebody lift up your two hands, Lord. We pray in the next few minutes, show us your will, show us your plan, instruct us on the path of manifestation. Oh my God, Lord, Rimini Hasuba, Lia Shokodi Anabaya. Lord, we regard these Thursdays as Thursdays have been in the labor room of the destiny. Lord, if we don't give birth, some things will remain the way they are. We have not just been called to birth for our individual families, to birth for our companies, our organizations, for our nation. Let the next few minutes bring to bear your heartbeat in the now and let a lover of the Lord scream a better amen. On the way to your sin, let your amen thunder louder. Let your amen thunder louder. People of God, please, would you let me one minute just do a bit of foundation laying by reminding someone that the word manifestation comes from a Greek word known as phrenosis. It comes from a Greek word known as phrenosis. B H R A N O S I S. Phrenosis. And people of God, hey, break it down, Pastor. What do you mean by phrenosis? very simple to make clear to make distinct for it to become evidential for it to be revealed for it to be unveiled and that is what manifestation is in other words when we say manifestation we are not insinuating that it's not something that has not been done but it's already done but we've not said it 
this is the reason why if you will remember that when the disciples of Jesus came to him and they asked him sir concerning this man that was born blind I said who has seen he said the mother he said the father and Jesus replied them and said neither 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 of them have done anything wrong but the reason why he is in this condition is so that the works of God might be made manifest in other words it's already done but it is not manifest in other words it's already been organized so sir and ma in the plan of God that guy was seen but in the early realm that guy was blind so there was a work of God that needs to manifest for him to be aligned where he ought to be somewhere in the realm of the spirit that guy the Bakito Shire was already with his full eyes but in the mortal realm something had covered the evidence somebody if you know that what I am saying sounds like you would you raise your voice and turn the fire like I said I didn't come for a lot of people can I hear you raise your voice and turn the fire as your amen will thunder whatsoever that has been concluded uh, every work of God uh, the Lord has finished in your life uh, that has not yet made manifest uh, at the sound of your amen uh, I command it to be unveiled tonight let it be revealed tonight let it be unveiled tonight let it be unveiled tonight I say manifest 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 let your amen turn the louder take your seat for one second I pray for you in another two hours everything the Lord has concluded this is not the day you got the word. Some of you got the word by January. And you heard the Lord say, I have done it. And you have been waiting for the manifestation. You were in prayer and you had a witness. It's already done. You've been waiting for the manifestation. If God is not man that he can tell lies. Rapali Koshada. Number one. Powers fighting your manifestation. I command them to be shut down by fire number two whatever it will take uh, for there to be an alignment uh, for your manifestation uh, i decree receive it right now number three uh, every delay uh, against your manifestation uh, i command them to break right now let them break right now let them break right now let them break right now let your amen turn the louder take your seat for one second and people of God the spirit of God as I waited on the Lord and said to the God to God what and how show me the template how we will begin this Thursday's of manifestation and the Lord said to me go to Revelation chapter 5 and let me show you what my people need in the now I waited in the place of prayer seeking the Lord to give me that word and then people of God there was a manifestation seals that ought to be loosed upon the earth now if you have all the time read down and finish the scripture when you get home and so you see what was about to happen for the judgment that every of those seal was going to serve upon the earth but that's not my focus but then again the bible says that an angel strong angel in heaven proclaimed with a loud voice it says who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals there something is about to be unveiled but we are looking for someone worthy something is about to happen but we are looking for who can who can open the book and lose the seals thereof let me not be ahead of myself it was only today that the Lord said to me have you wondered that I wasn't looking for a worthy person to just lose the seals but I was looking for a worthy person to first of all open the book read what is in it before the seals will be loosed understand there are some of us who are praying for seals to be loosed but you've not yet opened the book there is a knowledge there is a revelation every time you open a book you know that knowledge enters every time you open a book you know that revelation enters every time you open a book you know there's a form of insight depending on the book you're opening but then again the Lord said I'm not looking for someone
someone that will just lose the seals. But I'm looking for someone who can open the book. There is an opening that gives a revelation. And inside, the let me tell you what sustains deliverance. It is not that you broke loose, but that you gained knowledge that will not let the devil bring the yoke back on your neck. So that is why I am tired of you celebrating momentary victory. I want your victory to last. And that is why. Uh, God, please, uh, don't just lose the seal. Uh, but help me uh, to open the book. Uh, so that uh, after I have gained capacity with knowledge, uh, the seal uh, cannot be sealed again. If you understood what I said, lift up your right hand. With a loud voice, can you turn the fire? With a loud voice, can you scream fire? Can you shout fire? Can you shout fire? Can you shout fire? Thank you, see for one second. And in this service, I am not referring to books like just book. I'm referring to book as every vision, every revelation, every insight. Every information you need, it says, None of shall love this part. And the angel said, No man was found worthy. There is a level of manifestation, and the book that will be handed over to you cannot be read by the man in you. So, there is a book that will navigate here because if it is a book that man will read, I'm afraid to say there are more talented people like you. There are more talented, more graceful people, more powerful people, more connected people. But Lord, no man was found worthy, but the Lamb was found worthy. And people of God, you carry the identity of the Lamb. I pray, let your spirit man as your amen will turn the night. Let your spirit man, whatever revelation, insight you need, he back at us to break into the next realm. As your amen will turn the let your spirit man attract it by fire. You didn't hear me right now. Let your spirit man attract it by fire. Let your spirit man attract it. Attract it. Attract it. Attract it. Attract it. Attract it. Let your aim it on the louder. Take your seat for one second. There is a generation. Let me say it once again. That want the seals to be open. But they don't want to open the book. But the Lord said, listen. The kit, the manual kit. Is that you have got to open the book so that the seal will remain forever loosed am i talking to someone people of god i want you to understand that you got to get ready in the next few days in the next few weeks of this manifestation because you're going to be driving and boom a book will open and all of a sudden what you need will drop Shabbatika, you're going to be taking a shower. Libera all of a sudden a book will open. Rakatuba lasiana, akata labasha. You're going to be waking up in the night as you're speaking in other tongues. Boom, a book will open. You have done this on this human realm for too long. Those that don't know your anointing think that you are their mate. I pray for you today. Let the book open in your spirit. In case you don't have an idea, it was Jesus that said, I come in the volumes of book that's been written about me. I call them a shah, I So what I manifest is what has been written about me. So if I don't read, get insight into the book, how can I operate? I pray, let the books of your destiny, because it's a season of manifestation. As your enemy will turn let them burst open by fire. Let them burst open by fire. Let them burst open by fire. Let them burst open. Take your seat by, 
wherever you are somebody help me turn to wherever you are say books open you may not know what you're praying but screaming louder say books open our books of revelation information insight on common direction somebody say books somebody shall say open people are going to be finding out what formula did you use how did but they don't know he was in a service like this he began to open books in your head somebody say books shall say open scream it again say books say open shout it again say books shout open because what you don't understand is the world that you are. He can't tell. The Lord is opening it as a book. Because you're about to draw. People are going to look and say, where did this come from? You will remember to this service when the Lord was speaking about manifestation. And the Lord said the first thing that needs to happen is the book has to be open. I can't lose what I don't know. Let the book open first. I can't accomplish what I don't have a direction for. Let the book open first. Shatibala. Akorasa. I let this I pray for you again. Let the books open. Take your seat. And don't forget that this one angel kept proclaiming. The Bible called it proclaim. But please let me borrow my own word and say that this angel was almost frustrated. Who is worthy? I think it was a cry of frustration to open the book and lose his seals and the bible said uh, please show me again the next verse the next verse the bible said and no man in heaven nor in earth nor under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon no one that is why i said it is not an interface with the mortality that you carry so it's going to be a revelation that your spirit is going to embody because no man will be worthy. No, 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 no. This is not they told me. You see, this revelation is not I thought it about. No, 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 no. You see what is about to come? Shabala is going to open your spirit. It's going to be called follow come. Follow come anointed. Create Shabala. Creativity at his best. It's called Ayabala Shada. Record names you don't know will drop in your heart. Can I shock you for that? Their phone numbers will drop in your heart. What you should say to them will drop in your heart. You will want to drive through and the Lord will say, No, 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 don't go there, go this way. And as you are going, all of a sudden, you will run into what you have been praying for. Books have been opened. If you believe it, under a louder, amen. People of God, even if I stop here, I know that books are open. Somebody say books. Say open. Your neighbor does not understand. They think you came here to joke. I want you to let you know. The reason why the books has to be open for there to be an unsealing of the seal is because God is not a magician. Barabusa, God is not a magician. If he loses the seal and your books are not open how can you maintain what has been loosed so this is why people laugh today they cry tomorrow people of god but god wants to leave you with books that are open Shabali and Akosea, Rebedisa, when we were in school, Bashadia, even though I failed most of the time, they told us there's a formula that guarantees success from some arithmetic sums. Am I correct? So you go there and you use the formula. You want to put it this way, put it that way, put it that way, you'll get an. Now, the truth is that our answers may not all be the same, but then again, our process has a way of alluding. So people of God correctness is not what God expects but then again at the end of the day my journey will be a miraculous one the Bible says and a strong angel please show them where this strong angel the Bible says, and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book strong angel see strong angel strong but he could not open it. He was strong, but he was still moving up and down. Who is worthy? Uh -uh. 
the, the Bible not qualify the angel as strong angel and to lose the seals thereof yes sir the next and no man in heaven no in heaven. so the angel was clueless even though nobody is asking you to go and open the book but at least with your strength you should understand some things no man in heaven yes the next verse the next verse and i wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book neither to look thereon now this is it and one of the elders say it unto me we've not what a strong angel did not know the way about an elder people of god you see in this spiritual thing there are elders who and elders are not by chronological age oh. There are 72 year old elders, 81, 97 year old elders. But they are three months in the realm of the spirit. But please, let me stay within the confines of this scripture. These are those elders. The Bible called them 24 elders. All they do is to worship before the Lord. All they do is to be in communion. All they do is to devote themselves. Don't forget that the strong angel, from what he's saying here, is the angel designated for ministry. In other words, he runs assignments. He goes, comes back, goes. They send the angel to Rwanda. He goes to Rwanda and comes back. The elder is the one that stays stays morning afternoon night to keep your lovely face ever before my eyes this is my prayer make it my strong desire that in my secret heart no other love competes no rival throne survives as i serve only you the strong angel had no clue but the elder elder knew what to do say why is that one making noise why is that one making noise and then elder went i say, ah, you and this angel you people don't know how things work here the bible did not say and the angel and the elder got an information no sir the angel the elder knew the way things worked he said here yeah, we know who opens the book and the elder went to john as he was crying he said, oh boy it looks like you're new here <laughs> he says, say, see this gray hair? It is a product of a continuous stay. I know how this realm works. Shut here. I pray that one day you will be able to tell the generations how the things of the spirit work. And the angel said, Weep not. Behold, oh, there's so much to unbundle, but I'm gonna end here. He said, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. Kai. John now said, And I beheld. John now looked. They told him the lion of the tribe of Judah had prevailed. Ah! What fate came in him? I say, why am I breaking my head? If a lion has prevailed in my matter, ah, ah! why am I worrying myself? Why am I complaining? The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Faith rose in John. John was excited. I pray for you as your amen will thunder tonight, tonight, tonight. Because it is your season of manifestation. Let the lion of the tribe of Judah prevail. I did not hear that. Amen. Let the lion of the tribe of Judah prevail. 
Let the lion of the tribe of Judah prevail. Let the lion of the tribe of Judah prevail. Let him prevail. I say he has prevailed. 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 Over cancer. Over delay. Over challenges. Over stagnation. He has prevailed. He has prevailed. He has prevailed. He has prevailed. Let your image turn the louder. But hear this. The Bible says, and I, John, the Bible says, and I, John, beheld. Look at your scripture. And the John, the Bible says, and I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain. what did the elder say the lion of the tribe of judah had prevailed what am i seeing how come what god is saying to me and what i am seeing how come they are not aligning but what was it a lie that word i heard that day was it a lie that I have taken over it is already settled and I looked you said I should look and I look and the challenge is still there you said trust me and I trusted how come how come I really beheld you said to me it was a lion that prevailed I looked I didn't even see a lion I saw a lamb that was even dead Shania this is where you give up I said God you know what I'm not even sure this is my season you say lord it's not connecting in my head it's not connecting my word is a lion how did i end up seeing a lamb I came with a miraculous word over the life of someone. If your amen will turn now because it is your season of the manifestation, and the sound of your amen, hear me as I hear the Lord. The process may not align. The process may not look like it he might not be looking like a prophecy he might not be looking like the word you heard but as your amen was under I announce carry your evidence I say carry your evidence carry your evidence carry your evidence carry 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 let your aim it on the louder I came to tell men and women, Shadabala, Lord, I'm wounded. Lord, I'm bleeding. Lord, I don't look like the person. The lion that was slain, bleeding, was the one that went to the hand of the Father. Lord, I have failed many times. Lord, I see my weaknesses stick out, trying to drag me away from destiny. Asabalika, Asabalisa, and the Lord said, That's what you see, but that's not who you are. Shakita, Elibasa, who you see and who you are, they are two different things. I call you a lion. Yet you see a lamb that was wounded as Shabbatita. I showed you your weakness so that you can appreciate my strength. 
I showed you the wounded lamb so that you will know that it's not about you because there's a manifestation that's about to hit you when you look at yourself and look at your result you will shake your head and say only the Lord only the Lord only the Lord at the sound of your amen let it be your evidence right now Allow me to end here. Oh, if the first day looks like this, first Thursday looks like this, something will definitely snap. Trust me, I, I feel the Holy Ghost. I, there's so much anointing in this house. Hold on to what he told you. Hold on to the word he spoke. Hold on to the prophecy over your life. Every word he spoke about your life and the sound of your amen, let it become your evidence. Shabbos, I came to tell you, he told you about a lion, but you saw a wounded lamb, slain lamb. He's still God, he's walking it out. I hold on to what you said. But let me descend the mystery why you will speak about a lion and I'll see a lamb. I would I don't have the time to unbundle it. But if I had the time, I would have shown you that it's all part of capacitation. You speak to me about a lion, and then I see a lamb. Okay, sir. It is my journey. It is my process. Kita and You speak to me. I said the door has already been opened. But when I walk out, I see something. No, you didn't lie. You didn't lie, God. I know that there's some man you want me to become. Rise on your feet. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Let your aim at the louder. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Everyone lift your two hands. As your amen will thunder. Like you don't care. I decree. Tonight. Tonight. In the area where God has designed to lift you. Let your books of destiny be opened. <laughs> hey, Some of you don't understand. You may have been praying the wrong prayers. That's why your answer have not yet come. As your two hands are lifted, I command. Let books be open right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Listen, I'm going to, I want to pray a second prayer for you. And I'm going to make it a bit different. The Bible says, the race is not for the swift. Neither is the battle for the strong. We had a strong angel, but did not know the way things worked. Strong angel, agile angel. I pray for you. Away from physical dexterity, strength, I am good in this area. I know what to do in this area. I've seen good people that were never significant. 
I've seen people who show so much strength, but their light only shone according to the capacity of their strength as your amen will thunder. Like the elder that knew the way things worked, as your amen will thunder, receiving sight right now. From today, from right now, from right now, from right now, God is showing you how things are working. I see you arriving at your family. You will receive it insight uh, concerning your ministry, concerning your career, concerning what to do. Receive an uncommon idea, uncommon knowledge, uh, uncommon revelation. Uh, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let your head be turned louder. And I pray for you on this matter. I see strong people that they thought they knew what their generation needed but when they showed up they offered their generation sour soup they offered their generation what they used to need because they thought it's about strength i pray for you like the elder the bible did not say god told the elder the elder was long lost in communion and he knew the way things ought to work as your amen will turn down I pray for you. No matter where the Lord plants your feet in, receive a common insight to how things work. There's a word the Lord released in my spirit, and I release it to you right now. From right now, from right now. Thus say the Lord you will fix situations when you arrive from tonight as you raise your voice to god in prayer and on common oracles revelation and knowledge will flow from you as your amen will turn down, receive capacity to fix situations receive capacity to fix situations receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let the love of the lord thunder amen seven times